And this time, it's meatloaf. More specifically, it's Martha Stewart's meatloaf. Although I have made quite a few changes to it, she was my inspiration. So let's get started. We have a couple of vegetables we need to prep first. These are going inside the meatloaf. I have two substantial carrots, one very large white onion, and three fairly large shallots. I've peeled my large onion. We're cutting it in half. Okay, half of this is going for the topping. The other half I'm just gonna rough chop so it can go in the food processor. These are my two carrots. I'm just roughly chopping these so these go in the food processor too. And my shallots have been peeled and halved. These are going in the food processor also. And we're gonna process these until they're finely minced. This we're slicing for the topping. So very thin slices. This is about a pound and a quarter of ground beef, a pound of ground pork, and a pound of ground veal. All this meat and these ingredients are going in here together. And I'm using my clean hands to mix this all together. We need to add just enough breadcrumbs to hold this all together. So I'm going to start with a cup. I'll probably use between a cup and a half and two cups. Okay, we want to make sure that this can hold together, which it can, but we don't want it to be too stiff. So that's perfect. I make so much meat mixture because I turn half of this into meatballs and half of it into the meatloaf. I've got my number 40 disher. I have a baking sheet here with just a piece of aluminum foil on it for cleanup. Then I have my cooling rack on top. And I'm going to place a piece of parchment paper on top of that. We're going to build our, our meatloaf on this. So the rest of this meat can come out. Okay, and then we're going to shape this into a free-form loaf. All right, I like to have a flat top on mine because we'll put a topping on here. Now we need to cut away the excess parchment paper. And trimming this allows any fats to drain into the bottom so our meatloaf isn't swimming in its own fat. Aside from our sliced onions, our meatloaf gets a ketchup topping. This is just a half cup of ketchup, about three tablespoons of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of ground mustard. This just gets mixed together. We'll be caramelizing these onions until they are nicely brown. All right, we don't want these overly caramelized because they are going in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And we top it with this ketchup. Okay, and then we just smooth this around. Don't want to lose too much of it. And then we just top this with our onions. It's time to give this meatloaf a taste. Now, I've been making this for about 18 years, and it's delicious. Get a little bit of everything. 
everything on here. 